Hey, Matt. It's been ages since I've seen you. Summer really flew by, didn't it? How was your summer holiday? Hey, Sarah, you're absolutely right. Time sure does fly. My holiday was incredible. I've got so many stories. What about yours? Did you enjoy your summer break? I sure did. My family and I spent a whole week at the seaside. It was so sunny and the water was warm. We built giant sandcastles, had picnics on the beach, and swam in the sea almost every day. I also got to try snorkeling for the first time. That sounds like a perfect summer. Snorkeling must have been so exciting. Did you see much underwater? Yes, I did. It was like entering another world. The water was so clear and I saw lots of beautiful and colorful fish. There were starfish too and I even spotted a sea turtle once. It was an unforgettable experience. But enough about me. Tell me about your holiday. Your experience sounds wonderful. I didn't snorkel with sea turtles, but my family and I did go on a camping adventure in the mountains. We spent our days hiking, exploring different trails, and our nights around the campfire roasting marshmallows and stargazing. We even had a close encounter with a family of deer. It was so peaceful. A camping trip in the mountains, that sounds thrilling. I can imagine how much fun you had. Did you get to learn any new camping skills? Yes, I did. I learned how to set up a tent properly and start a campfire. I also learned how to identify a few constellations and different animal tracks. Speaking of learning new things, did you learn anything new during your snorkeling adventures? I did. I learned about different types of marine life. There was this one bright blue fish with yellow stripes that followed me around. I later found out it was a clownfish. I felt like I was in a real-life ocean documentary. That sounds so fascinating. It seems like we both had learning experiences along with our adventures. Did you have a favorite moment from your trip? That's a tough one. Every moment was special, but I think my favorite was our daily ice cream ritual. There was a small shop that sold the most delicious homemade ice cream. The strawberry flavor was my absolute favorite. Did you have any favorite moments from your trip? Ah, uh, I can almost taste that strawberry ice cream. As for me, my favorite moment was probably the first night we camped out. Listening to the sounds of nature, looking up at the starry sky while roasting marshmallows on the campfire. It was magical. Did you miss anything about home when you were at the seaside? I did miss home a bit. I missed my cozy bed, our backyard, and of course my friends. But I also made a new friend at the seaside. Her name's Lucy and we hung out a lot together. That's great. I missed my friends and my pet dog as well. But like you, I also made a new friend. His name's Josh. We had so much in common and shared many stories and adventures. I'm looking forward to introducing him to everyone. I can't wait to meet him. And I can't wait for Lucy to meet all of you too. It sounds like we both had a wonderful summer. It's a shame it couldn't last longer. You're right. But the good news is, we now have all these wonderful memories to look back on. And who knows? Maybe next summer we can plan a trip together. It'll be an adventure. I love that idea. For now though, let's enjoy being back with our friends and share the stories of our summer adventures. Thanks for watching. If you want to continue learning English from our videos, click on the video here. And don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel.